So I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to replace the seals on these hydraulic cylinders. And I know there's a few videos on YouTube right now that talk about it, show guys doing it. They're very long and uh, I thought I wanted to make a short video to show you some of the things that I wish I had known before I tried to do it to make it a little simpler, a little easier to do. So I'm gonna uh, take some video and show you guys what you need to look for when you're taking these apart, putting new seals in them. I removed the snap ring from the outside that's holding the outer cap in position. There's another snap ring that sits inside. And so what you need to do is you need to use a hammer and a punch and punch this down in. And then there's a special plastic ring that comes with the seal kit that you have to use in order to get this cap out. So before I punch the cap down into the cylinder, I went ahead and I loosened up the hydraulic fittings so that the fluid has a place to go so that I can get that pushed down in. So I got the end cap pushed down in and there's a little groove on the inside diameter of the cylinder. They sell a little ring that looks like this with the seal kit that you get. And the thing to know about this is that it's a tapered tapered ring and the way you put it in there is critical for having this come out so you need to put the large part of the taper towards the outside of the cylinder the thin part has to go towards the inside in order for it to work right and they sell these and they're oversized so you have to cut them to fit so you got to be pretty exact about it because you want it to be long enough that it seals tight against the uh, inside wall of the cylinder and lays as flat as possible. So once you get that ring in position, that's what it's gonna look like in there. It lays flat in and it provides a way for that internal snap ring to glide through that groove so that you can get the end cap out. So I got the end of the cylinder disconnected from the machine and you can see the little plastic spacer that's in that snap ring groove and then here's a tool that I made to help pull the rod out you just got to put a little tension on the line and the only way to get it out is to tap it with a hammer while you're providing some tension with it so here's that internal snap ring I was talking about that has to slide past that groove using that plastic ring shim Another thing I should have mentioned is that that orange ring that you use to remove the cylinder piston is only needed to remove it. You don't need it to put it back in because that groove is tapered inward so the snap ring will slide right in when you reinstall. I've got the piston rod in my vise and I'm going to take that nut off so I can get the piston off to replace all the seals and o-rings on it. It's a 30 millimeter nut and my 30 millimeter deep well socket wouldn't quite reach it. And that's after I had tried to bore out the inside of it on my lathe. So I ended up making one out of uh, an old leaf spring and an old socket. And that's what I'm gonna use to take it out. So I got the end cap and the piston off of the rod cleaned up, got the old seals removed, got the new seals laid out ready to go in. A couple things to remember on these, if you have a seal like this, you want the open end facing the hydraulic pressure. And then on the piston, there's uh, in the center, there's a square edge seal that goes on that. Um, and underneath that is a regular o-ring and if you don't look carefully you might miss that so the o-ring is easy enough to get in on the piston the hard part is getting this square edge seal because it's not a very pliable material and very difficult to stretch over the piston to get it in place so that's where I made this other little tool I found on the scrap pile it's just a oil fill cap and I uh, smoothed it out tape tapered it is already tapered and it fits, the diameter is about perfect. 
So I'll put the ring, the new ring on that so that I can get it stretched out and it'll slide right onto that. All new seals installed, ready to go back in the machine. Just make sure to use red Loctite on the nut when you tighten it on. This is a tool that I made to help the install go better. I'm sure they have a tool that they sell to do it. I don't know how you'd get it done without it. But it was just machined out of a solid piece of aluminum scrap that I had laying around. It's got two different inner diameters. The larger one will fit over the outside of the hydraulic cylinder. The inner one is the right dimension to keep the internal snap ring tight so it'll slide into the barrel. So it fits over it. Like that. And then I put a clamp on the flat spots here to clamp it together. And then I can use that to press it into the cylinder and it keeps all the seals and that snap ring uh, tight so that it'll slide in. Otherwise it's damn near impossible to get it done. So I already installed the piston using this tool uh, to protect the seals on the way in. So now I have to do the end cap that has that snap ring now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it in position and I'll get this tool on here to help hold everything in place so that I can install it without pinching any of the rings and getting that snap ring to live flush so that it'll slide through the groove. All right, I just heard that snap ring snap into position so I know it's in there far enough. And now I can just finish tapping it in. There. Done.